What's up guys? I am just gearing up. CJ and I from South Dakota Unlimited podcast, if you haven't checked it out, give it a listen. Are heading out tomorrow. We're going to go on an all day archery antelope hunt. See what happens. Um, I wasn't really planning on going, so I'm a little behind the eight ball on having all my stuff ready. So I'm not going to get much sleep. I'm getting everything ready at the moment. Just got my broadheads all put on my arrows. Um, I already tuned it a couple weeks ago, so it's shooting great. I just didn't have a bunch of arrows ready. I just had a couple that I was shooting with. So here I am getting ready. We're going to hit it hard tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. What's up, guys? I am here with CJ. And we are out antelope hunting today. It is opening weekend, Sunday, second day, and it's just starting to get light. We spotted a decent buck, not too far off the beaten path. We may or may not go after, but um, for you guys that don't know CJ, he started South Dakota Unlimited podcast. Give it a listen, it's legit. And it, it's real relatable to basically everything South Dakota hunting, so, and more. but. Check it out, and we're gonna go try to kill an antelope today, and we'll keep you posted. Should we go get them? Let's do it. I don't know if you can hear me because it's windy, and I got the little camera, but we're gonna go see if we can put a stock on this buck we spotted out here. Well, that first stock this morning was fun. We got close, just didn't quite pan out, but we're gonna go try to find some more. It was definitely an exciting one. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Got damn close. We'll see if the next one cooperates even better. Yeah, get even closer. Yeah, 
get it. Well, we just spotted a real nice antelope and we're just gonna go give her a whirl on the new lease. You never know.
got in here pretty close, uh, a beef cow came through and they all kind of got up and got a little nervous, but they weren't leaving. So we got up here as quick and as low as we could. A couple of does caught us as we were getting into position. I think the buck was probably at 40 or 50 yards when we first got here. They all got nervous. It's windy today. Um, I didn't have a great range. I was guessing he was at 75. I wasn't going to take that in this wind. So I did not, and then I ranged where he was standing afterward just for fun. 87, so good thing. But it was fun. Two stocks. We got within bow range of two. Two for two. Bow range at least. So. I don't think we spooked them too bad, so they should stick in here and maybe we'll get another shot at them another day. Maybe yet today. Who knows? Well, we spotted a buck bedded with, I don't know, six or seven does, I think, maybe eight. We're going to do a big circle. He's in the middle of nowhere, but we think we might be able to close the distance, so we're going to try. What's that? Let's have to play those wide too, I guess. Yep. We'll split those zones and these ones. Hopefully there's none in between. She is a little bit windy out today. cover this year is so dry it makes it awful tough. I 
know one of the does stood up. I think the bucket moved by the time we got here. And just didn't quite pan out, but it's all good. That's hunting. That's hunting. Time to go find another one or maybe see where they go. Because I don't think they're really that spooked. It's starting to get a little warm. Well, we're just cruising around, glassing from the truck, trying to spot one. They gotta be in a real good ambush position right now because it is windy. It's gotta be blowing 30 plus for sure, I would say. But we've had four stocks and all of them we've got pretty much in bow range, it just hasn't worked out. So hopefully we can find one and change that here soon. Well, it's been a while since we got after one, but we're going. We spotted one way out in this pasture, probably a mile or so away. We're gonna go try to kill him. We just need to, we need to put some miles on. Frown's kinda trotting now.
tough today. Tough this year, I should say. It's just not much cover, so not really a good way to draw unless you get lucky and have one facing away from you. Doesn't always work that way. But it's fun crawling around through the cactus. My hand that I'm holding the camera with has at least oh seven or eight needles sticking out of it right now. It's shaking. So I'm going to go ahead and get those out now. And we'll go try to get you in on some more action. Talk to CJ here and see how far he was. I, it's so hard to tell to you guys. It probably looked like 20 yards, but I'm pretty sure it was closer to 80 or so. And just a little too far after he spooked and stopped. If he would have stayed put, probably would have had a shot. So that's uh, archery antelope hunting at its finest right there. How far was he? 97. 97. With a good range. Well, yeah, flat landing it. It's tough. Tough out here. <laughs> also find a minefield of uh, cactuses. Yeah, I got like 15 of them in my hand right now. I got most of them pulled out, but we've got some sneak opportunities, but they've all been bedded in like places where you just can't get real close. We need one bedded where we can get like 30 yards. Would be ideal. Or 50 or 60. That would be doable. 67 sounds like a good number. 67 inch goat to max match the yardage. Perfect. Hell, at this point, we'll just match the yardage. It takes a 30 inch goat to get a 30 yarder, we'll take it. <laughs> Anything. Throw us a ball or something. 80 yards would be an 80 inch goat, apparently. That'd be alright. Let's go find another one. Anyone that has not archery antelope hunted, or if you have, this is kind of what we're dealing with here. Those feel really nice in your legs, in your hands, in your elbows, <laughs> especially <laughs> short sleeve shirts. It doesn't even matter because they go right through that like you're not even wearing it. But CJ's bleeding a little bit. <laughs> yep, all part of it. All part of it. Fun of the game. Dang right. No pain, no gain. Mind for you. We'll hit that bad the little ones are the worst too because they're so fine we can't kill one but we can follow one down the road apparently uh oh uh oh oh there you got out you're free buddy nice choice Well, no blood was drawn today other than cactus needles making us bleed, but it's a good time. What would we get? Five stocks? Five stocks. Inside of a hundred, I think, on every one of them. Just too windy for a long distance shot today, so we uh, had a good time though. It's fun. A lot of fun. This, e this evening we kind of sucked and we didn't find much, but up until that we saw quite a few antelope so it was a good day as always thanks for watching please subscribe we'll see you next time